Welcome to Leesburg Today's Daily Update for October 18th. I'm Samantha Bartram. A campaign stop by Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney drew a large crowd, as many as 8,000 people, to Ida Lee Park last night, marking the largest campaign event in Loudoun this election season. In a 25-minute speech, Romney outlined his plans to lead the country through economic recovery, including cutting the national deficit while maintaining spending for the military and championing small business. He said President Obama is on the wrong track. We have one weekend left before our final debate, and I hope he's able to come up with an agenda over the weekend. So in that last debate, he's able to describe what he'd do if he got four more years, but that's not likely to happen, so he doesn't need to worry about it. Um, Actually, he he seems to spend most of his time in these debates talking about why my plans aren't going to work. Uh, I wish he'd spend a little more time explaining why his plans have not worked. I don't want to transform America into something we wouldn't recognize. I don't want to make America like Europe. I don't want want to make America a government-centered society. I want to restore to America the freedoms that drive our economy. Our economy is driven by freedom, by personal freedom, by people pursuing their dreams. also urged everyone in the crowd to take the next 20 days until Election Day to inform their friends and neighbors and get out to vote. Romney's visit to Leesburg comes almost four years to the day after then-candidate Barack Obama's campaign visit to Idaho Park. Obama went on to win Virginia's 13 electoral votes less than three weeks later. It's clear Romney is doing everything he can to make sure the president doesn't win Virginia this time around. In public safety news, a gas explosion at Lansdowne Resort this morning sent three people to the hospital. A call went out just before 9.15 a.m. reporting an explosion with injuries at the Lansdowne Hotel. Crews arrived to find there had been a gas-related flash fire in the kitchen of one of the restaurants in the hotel. The blaze had extinguished itself before firefighters arrived on scene. Three people were injured in the explosion and fire, one of them seriously. By 10.30 a.m., the hotel was back in full service. The Loudoun County Fire Marshal's office is conducting the investigation into the cause of the fire. Check our website for updates on this developing story. Finally, tomorrow is the last day to purchase online tickets to Sunday's Waterford Concert Series performance. Members of the Maryland Opera Studio will perform an array of operatic favorites at the Old Stone School Sunday, October 21st. Seats for this particular show, Sunday will mark the third time these talented opera students have visited the West Loudoun Village, tend to fill quickly, so fans of the genre are encouraged to take advantage of advanced ticket sales to save a spot. Potential guests have until close of business Friday, October 19th to buy their tickets online set at $25 for adults or $15 for students. A limited number of tickets will also be available at the door on the evening of the performance. The Maryland Opera Studio takes the stage at 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon. For more information, call 540-882-3018, extension 117, or for show details or to purchase tickets, go to waterfordfoundation.org. For more on these and other stories around Loudoun, visit us online at leesburgtoday.com.